Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kazooie here, and welcome to episode 10 of Skilling to Glory. I first of all want to start off by actually saying a big thank you to you guys for the support so far on the series. Um, I'm very happy that I'm actually, you know, enjoying making these videos again and actually seeing that you guys are enjoying the series as well by looking at the comments. So thank you very much. And uh, as always, of course, if you enjoyed this episode as well, then make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe as well if you haven't already, hit the notifications and uh, drop a comment. Would be very much appreciated. So we start this video off by actually um, taking a look at some of the SBCs. And there was one in particular which I was thinking of completing. That's the uh, wants to watch Jorginho Wijnaldum. And there were a few more Dutch SBCs as well in Myron Boadu, who now plays for Monaco. Three-star skill, so not really my type of player. Uh, then we also have Hus Til, or Gus Til, if you pronounce it in the English way. Uh, who plays for Feyenoord, three-star, three-star. If you put a shadow on him, he can be a very, very good-looking player in terms of the defensive kind of part for your team. So I might be completing him soon. Um, one of the other SBCs, at least I decided to look at and actually complete straight away, was the Wijnaldum to PSG SBC, which would give us a Jumbo Premium Gold Player spec. And there was also this Newcomers Challenge, where you would get a 75-plus rated player, a rare player as well. And um, yeah, we completed that one, not really with, with the expectation to get anything amazing. We did get a good player though, which would have been amazing for an SBC, which we've already completed. Um, unfortunately, is untradeable, because otherwise we would have been able to sell him for like a couple thousand coins. Um, then in the other pack, we did get a walkout. Kuli Bali there, 86 rated. Um, seen a lot of people using him in Weekend League as well as in the Fight Champs playoffs. And um, yeah, I just love his animation in game. He uh, he just looks uh, just looks like an absolute unit on the pitch. And I was actually thinking of maybe using him as well um, last weekend when I was um, making like that kind of Serie A side for, uh, for Weekend League with Dybala and stuff and uh, Quadrado. But um, yeah, I ended up not buying him. He obviously has the player of the month version as well. So um, yeah, we got his untradeable now. So if we ever decide to go the Serie A route, we can always try him out. Then I decide to sell Jorginho Wijnaldum. And as you probably would have noticed at the start of the video, we had over 300,000 coins. That's because we sold a bunch of players uh, in the previous episode as well as the recently wants to watch packed uh, Jaden Sancho. And after that, I decided to actually um, go ahead and complete the wants to watch Jorginho Wijnaldum. Um, it required an 84 rated squad, an 85 rated squad, as well as an 86 rated squad. So it was kind of expensive and there were a lot of mixed opinions about this specific SBC, um, especially on Fudbin. A lot of people were saying that it was just way too expensive. Um, you know, I think personally, look at it, look at it this way. Wijnaldum is honestly the only like usable midfielder from PSG. And no matter what, PSG are definitely going to get uh, five wins out of the next uh, 10 games, even though they started off with a loss, so they have nine games left. But, you know, looking at his stats as well, give him one in form and everything is green. And, um, yeah, he's not having the best start at PSG at his new club, but um, I can definitely see him doing well for the for the Dutch national team. Uh, he's been one of the key players since, um, since like, last few years, basically, for our, our national team, so... Um, if he ever, like, plays well, he could easily pick up an inform uh, that way. So um, I decided to complete him because he's Dutch, of course, and he also links with some of the players we have in our squad. So after that, um, we actually got ourselves the FUT22 preseason rewards. And some of you probably don't really know what this is about. Um, this was basically something you were able to unlock at the end of FIFA 21, where you had to complete specific objectives as well as specific SPCs. And uh, with that, you were able to uh, basically get like packs and stuff and camp styles, um, contracts uh, for FIFA 22. Um, it's a bit auto that they only started uh, releasing it like two weeks after the release of the game. But, uh, you know, it's uh, it's better than uh, not getting anything. Uh, the first like few packs that we got weren't that amazing. We also got a lone icon and uh, we got Steven Gerrard. We could have gotten any icon basically. Uh, but we got Stevie G, which we might use at some point in um, in the friendlies mode. Then we also got a uh, lone player pick with a player of 84 to 83 or uh, to 88, sorry. And uh, we went with Chesney, even though I already have him as an untradeable. And we also went with Kyle Walker, which to be fair, isn't bad. Could come in handy for the friendly game modes if we ever need to use Kyle Walker or something. 
Um, then after that, I backed out and backed uh, and I went back into uh, Ultimate Team, where it then showed we had another pack available. And this was um, the pack that I was actually really looking forward to uh, to open when um, I knew these uh, preseason uh, things were going to be in FIFA 22. Because you actually would get um, three players from the best leagues in the game, one of them being rare, or at least one player from specific from, from each league being rare. And the rare player from the La Liga, in our case, was actually a walkout in Frankie de Jong, which is amazing because he's a 100k plus player. He's, in my eyes, probably the best midfielder in the game. And uh, I was already looking at him um, in purchasing him. So I'm glad I didn't do it and actually got in through a uh, through an untradeable uh, pack. Also a pack that we basically just grinded for in FIFA 21. So I'm really glad that I did it. It actually play, uh, paid off uh, really well. And um, yeah, we're obviously going to try to put him in our squad as well. I did already make a, uh, a new team, which you will see in uh, the next episode. Um, but... Um, yeah, probably some minor adjustments again are needed in order to fit in Frankie de Jong because the team's kind of made for that wants to watch Jorginho Wijnaldum, which we just unlocked as well. So after that, I decided to go ahead and complete the Silver Stars, which was uh, last week's Suleimana. I only had an hour and 20 minutes left or so. So um, yeah, I needed to kind of hurry up too because um, I was running late for uh, for dinner and stuff. So I just needed to uh, to get these games uh, done over and quickly. And uh, yeah, you guys have seen uh, the, the team in, I think, one of the previous episodes. We already played a, a fair few games with the team. So it was finally time to properly test it in the silver launch. Um, as I was in a little bit of a rush, I wasn't really skilling too much. But I'll, of course, start to score some uh, some nice goals here and there. Uh, we started off pretty good here with Barrow once again. Absolutely amazing player. Um, if you're looking for a fast silver player with five stars... He is your man. And again, the two-star weak foot is an absolute lie because in this episode you will see um, a couple goals once again scored with his uh, weak foot, which, I, like I said, is only two stars. Um, but also up front, we have this man, Hernani, who last year was a low-rated gold. This year is a silver and is honestly the perfect player as well uh, alongside Barrow. They're actually uh, both left-footed, uh, which is... Um, not too, uh, not too bad. Usually, I prefer to have like a right-footed player and a left-footed player, but you know, it's uh, it's nice as well to have two left-footed players because most players are, you know, usually right-footed. So it has that kind of unpredictability when you're in front of goal. But um, yeah, I've, I've actually really been enjoying playing with um, with this uh, with this squad in the silver launch. I know it's still really early days because all the the, the players you come up against don't really have amazing silver teams. Um, there are some people who have invested really early in silver squads. Um, like I basically did, even though the players that I purchased weren't that expensive. But um, yeah, I, uh, I've been really enjoying playing with this team. And I've seen a lot of you guys actually as well um, sending me tweets um, on Twitter, obviously, uh, showing me uh, the squads that you guys have been using um, for both the Silver Launch and also for uh, Weekend League and Division Rivals. But um, yeah, it seems that you guys have also been rocking the Hernani and uh, I think it's called the Korea Duo uh, on the right hand side. The right back from, I think, Valencia. And um, yeah, like I said, some of you have already uh, used Barrow as well, who also in this clip uh, shows once again that he's such a, a silky player on the ball. Um, you will also see just a lot of skill moves that I will be including in a tutorial very soon. I'm still working on some of the stuff, but it takes um, a little bit longer than um, I, had, I, had, I had hoped for, basically, um, to finish on the other tutorials, including like a tutorial with the most effective skill moves for FIFA 22, so um, keep your eyes peeled and uh, make sure to uh, to be subscribed in order to uh, to watch that video very soon. But um, yeah, like I said um, at the start, um, I was a little bit in a rush of playing these games, so sometimes you would see me trying to score the odd sweat goal. And I remember in this specific match, I literally only needed one more goal. And um, yeah, you can see me being a little bit unlucky there towards the end. We hit the post and we got one of those automatic block shots there uh, which got blocked but then uh, a lovely drag back there by Hernani to uh, some uh, left stick dribbling who then bangs it in makes it 4-1 and that's how that game ended and that's how we basically ended off the first silver star in FIFA 22 and um, looking at the recording because I recorded all those games in one go it only took me 19 minutes uh, for me to complete Suleimana so um, even though I was a little bit in a rush it actually didn't really take that long to uh, to complete him so uh yeah i was uh, was happy with that 
Um, obviously, didn't really get to play that much with the silver squad, but uh, yeah, I was uh, I was happy that we completed him. Like I said, we didn't really play that much, so I figured, you know what? Why not just wait uh, an hour? Because that was, I think, the amount of time we had left in order for the next silver star to be released, which uh, ended up being this Olsen guy from Bologna, Danish right winger who looks really good. Um, 82 dribbling, 90 pace, 80 shooting. The only downside with him is the three star skills, which I'm personally not a fan of. So um, he will most likely be a super sub, just like we have currently with um, Suleimana. Um, the reason why I decided not to include him in the starting 11 is because, you know, I like my five star skillers. So um, ever, if they're ever going to be, is there, if there's going to be like a five star skilled silver stars, then he's definitely going to make the squad, whoever it's going to be. Uh, but for now, we're just going to stick with this uh, with this team for the majority of the, the silver stars that are going to get released, I think, uh, for the upcoming weeks. But um, yeah, Olsen, definitely a decent looking player. So um, we obviously try to complete him. That's the kind of main objective for this year anyway, to just complete every single silver star. Uh, I remember from last year, I think I missed out on like two or three. Uh, but um, yeah, I've been, I've been, I think, mentioning this as well in um, the Skill into Glory series, which we did last year, that the Silver Launch is by far just the most chill game mode in the game. Uh, it can be sweaty at times, because you can come up against uh, some, some try-hard people and some people that really grind your gears, but uh, it's such a fun game mode, man. It's it's literally just a mode where you are you can basically relax, because you only need to win three games. You need to score eight goals and get six assists. And um, yeah, the way I've been playing um, these games as well, I've been really, really enjoying it. We scored some really cool goals. Got some disgusting nutmegs. Uh, the one we just scored with Borrow again on his two-star weak foot. Uh, we got a disgusting nutmeg with, I think, uh, Moreno. And uh, we got a fair few nutmegs as well, I think, in this entire episode. But um, yeah, this was the first game in which we tried to complete um, at least some objectives for Olsen. Unfortunately, ended up losing, but... Didn't really matter that much, uh, as we scored uh, some really nice goals, I have to say, in in, the, in that match. The first one and also uh, the last one with uh, with Borrow. Uh, the next game we go we came against a team, with kind of low cam, I believe this was, and um, yeah, this was one of those players who uh, wasn't you know that amazing at the game. You can see here he almost scored an own goal, but uh, he was able to uh, to clear it off the line there. Then um, a few minutes in, we brought on Sulemana. As I said, will probably just remain to be a super sub. And uh, he feels really good on the ball too. So if you missed out on him, then uh, yeah, you uh, you really need to uh, pay attention to the like the upcoming Silver Stars. Because Silver Stars usually um, can definitely be used in Division Rivals as well as maybe Weekend League. Um, I remember from, from last year, um, Silas of course, who, uh, who had 5 star skills, was like my favorite player in FIFA 21. Uh, was a player I used so much in uh, in weekend league and just ended up being an absolute uh, amazing player for me. So uh, yeah, I can hopefully you know I hopefully anyway I can uh, I can see some more players popping up. But Suleiman is definitely one to look out for. Uh, in this specific match, we also just ended up getting a random connection uh, loss, which was um, a little bit uh, annoying. But yeah, I've seen uh, a fair few uh, disconnects happening on uh, my Twitter timeline. So um, yeah, I'm lucky that uh, it's only been the first one that we've uh, that we've had so far. But here again, once again in the next game, again a weak foot uh, finish there from Barrow here, making good use of the four touch uh, spin, which is seriously such a good skill. I'm yet to make a tutorial on it, which I think will go up this weekend because I think I've got all the clips. Um, but um, it, it's such a good skill. You guys have uh, probably seen a lot of like goals as well, where we basically use the skill move and definitely an underrated one. Um, then here again, Suleimana going through, then a disgusting tackle for my opponent. And uh, yeah, he actually got himself a red card. After that, we were able to, uh, to create more chances. And um, I believe at this point, we uh, were also up a fair few goals in terms of like the objectives. But we just need to get a few more assists. Because I was mostly just trying to score skill goals. And with skill goals, you barely get assists. And for the objective, you obviously need six assists. So I kind of needed to... Um, yeah, to kind of crank that up a little bit. But uh, we came up against another guy who was rocking a Brasilver team without any five-star skillers, but he just ended up giving me a goal and ended up leaving, which was a bit random. The next game we go, we come up against a team with only um, 56 chemistry, not a lot. And uh, yeah, also this guy ended up stopping uh, 
basically randomly. And also this, 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 this honestly cracked me up so much. It would have gone in either way, but my opponent thought, you know, fuck it. I'm just gonna tap it into my own net and then uh, leave as well, which was just way too funny. You should have, uh, you should have seen my reaction because I, <laughs> I was just, uh, I was just cracking up so much. But anyway, we completed um, Olsen there, 90 pace, 82 dribbling, 80 shooting, also 75 passing and 73 physical. Definitely not bad for a silver inform. Um, almost looks like a team of the season uh, silver, if you ask me. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below um, if you've already played the silver launch. And uh, let me know as well what your team looks like. Plenty of you guys have already done it. But if you haven't, so make sure to tweet me at Kazooie94. And uh, be sure to follow me on there as well if you haven't already. But anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you, of course, did, drop a like, subscribe as well if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell as well for more videos. And uh, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Kazooie94. Anyway, that's the end. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.